Hi guys, welcome to my channel before we get started. Make sure to hit that like button, also subscribe to my channel. The 15 best ways to maximize your credit score. So make sure to watch the full video. Maximizing your credit score is a crucial aspect of personal finance that can have far-reaching effects on your financial well-being. A good credit score opens doors to favorable interest rates, lower insurance premiums, and increased access to credit and financial opportunities. On the other hand, a poor credit score can limit your options and make it challenging to secure loans or obtain competitive rates. Understanding the factors that contribute to your credit score and implementing strategies to improve it is essential for achieving your financial goals. In this video, we will explore the 10 best ways to maximize your credit score and take control of your financial future. 15. Pay your bills on time, every time. Payment history is one of the most critical factors affecting your credit score. Later missed payments can significantly impact your credit score and stay on your credit report for years. Make it a priority to pay your bills on time, every time. Set up reminders or automatic payments to ensure you never miss a payment. 14. Reduce credit card balances, credit utilization, which measures the amount of credit you're using compared to your credit limit, plays a significant role in determining your credit score. Aim to keep your credit card balances low, ideally below 30% of your available credit. Paying down debts can have a positive impact on your credit utilization ratio and, consequently, your credit score. 13. Maintain a diverse credit mix. Lenders prefer to see a mix of different types of credit accounts on your credit report. This includes credit cards, installment loans, mortgages, and other forms of credit. Having a diverse credit mix shows that you can handle various types of credit responsibly. However, don't open unnecessary accounts solely for the sake of diversity. 12. Keep old credit accounts open. The age of your credit accounts is an important factor in calculating your credit score. Even if you no longer use a credit card or have paid off a loan, consider keeping the accounts open, especially if they have a positive payment history. Longer credit history can positively impact your credit score and demonstrate your credit worthiness to lenders. 11. Limit new credit applications. When you apply for new credit, it triggers a hard inquiry on your credit report. Multiple hard inquiries within a short period can negatively impact your credit score. Only apply for new credit when necessary and be strategic about your applications. Consider spacing out your credit applications to minimize the impact on your credit score. 10. Regularly review your credit reports. Your credit reports from the major credit bureaus contain valuable information about your credit history. It's important to review your reports periodically to ensure their accuracy. Look for any errors in correct account information or signs of potential identity theft. Dispute any inaccuracies promptly to maintain a clean and accurate credit report. 9. Be mindful of credit inquiries. In addition to hard inquiries, soft inquiries also exist and do not impact your credit score. Soft inquiries occur when you check your own credit report, receive pre-approved offers, or when potential employers perform background checks. Focus on minimizing hard inquiries, as these can have a temporary negative impact on your credit score. 8. Practice responsible credit usage. Using credit responsibly is key to maximizing your credit score. Avoid maxing out your credit cards or carrying high balances, as this can negatively impact your credit utilization ratio. Make regular payments on time and aim to pay off your balances in full whenever possible. Responsible credit usage demonstrates financial discipline and improves your credit worthiness. 7. Consider becoming an authorized user. If you have a trusted friend or family member with a well-managed credit account, you may want to consider becoming an authorized user of their account. Their positive credit history and responsible credit behavior can reflect positively on your credit report, potentially boosting your credit score. However, ensure that the primary account holder maintains good credit habits to avoid any negative consequences. 6. Be patient and persistent. Building and improving your credit score takes time. It requires consistent effort and responsible financial behavior. Don't expect overnight results but rather focus on long-term financial habits that will benefit your credit profile. Stay persistent, remain committed to your financial goals, and make positive changes to your credit habits. 5. Maintain a low debt-to-income ratio. In addition to credit utilization, lenders also consider your debt-to-income ratio when assessing your credit worthiness. This ratio compares your monthly debt payments to your monthly income. Aim to keep your debt-to-income ratio as low as possible by managing your debts responsibly and avoding taking on excessive debt. 4. Build a positive credit history. 
Building a positive credit history takes time and consistent financial behavior. Make it a habit to pay all your bills on time, including rent, utilities, and loan payments. Demonstrating a track record of responsible payment behavior over an extended period can significantly boost your credit score. 3. Use Credit Building Tools If you're starting from scratch or trying to rebuild your credit, consider using credit building tools such as secured credit cards or credit builder loans. These tools are specifically designed to help individuals establish or improve their credit history. By using them responsibly, you can gradually build a positive credit profile. To monitor your credit regularly, regularly monitoring your credit is crucial for staying on top of your credit health. Check your credit reports from all three major credit bureaus, Equifax, Experian, and TransUnion, at least once a year. Look for any errors or discrepancies that could be negatively impacting your credit score. Additionally, consider using credit monitoring services or subscribing to credit score tracking apps to receive real-time updates and alerts. 1. Seek professional guidance if you're facing significant credit challenges or struggling to improve your credit score on your own. Don't hesitate to seek professional guidance. Credit counseling agencies and financial advisors can provide personalized advice and assistance tailored to your specific situation. They can help you develop a comprehensive plan to address any credit issues and guide you toward a stronger financial future. Why should I improve my credit score? When you apply for credit, the lender will calculate your credit score to help. They decide whether to lend to you. It's usually based on information from your credit report, your application details, data they already hold on you if you've been a customer before. Each lender may have a different way of calculating your credit score, depending on what information they have access to and their lending criteria. Credit reference agencies, CRAs, like Experian, also calculate credit scores for lenders and the public. You can get an idea of how lenders may view your credit history by looking at your free Experian credit score. And don't worry, checking your score won't affect it. How can improving my credit score benefit me? A higher credit score means companies see you as a lower risk, so you're more likely to be approved for credit. This is because a high score indicates you have a history of managing your credit responsibly such as making any repayments on time. The benefits of improving your score may include better chance for a credit card, mortgage, and loan approval. Whether it's a loan, credit card, or mortgage you're after, a higher credit score means you'll have a better chance of being approved. You may also be able to choose from a wider range of credit offers and providers, which can help save you money. Lower interest rates. If lenders think you're a lower risk, they may offer you better interest rates on loans and credit cards, which can make borrowing cheaper. A good credit score can improve your chances of being approved for a low-interest loan or a 0% spending card, for example. Better car insurance rates. If you choose to spread the cost of insurance over a year, your credit score can affect the interest charges you pay in addition to your insurance premium. Higher credit limits. If you improve your score, you should have a better chance of borrowing larger amounts. This could help you achieve goals faster, such as buying a new car or making home improvements. How long does it take to improve your credit score? It depends on a number of things, but you should know it won't happen overnight. Information about things like your new bank account or credit card can take several weeks to appear on your credit report. So it may take at least this long to see real improvements to your score. You may also need to wait for new accounts to mature a little, for example, for a few months before they start to help your credit score. Paying your accounts regularly and on time will improve your score as you build a credit history. Missed payments, defaults, and court judgments will stay on your credit report for six years. However, the impact of any missed payments or defaults will likely reduce as the record ages. After six years, they will be deleted from your report altogether. What do you think of our video? Let me know in the comments section below. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that like button. Also, subscribe to our channel before you go.